Welcome to the channel. I'm Erica Lucas. We did a thing. We bought a thing. We bought an RV. Let's go on a tour. Let's go inside and look. We're just cleaning it and kind of stocking it. And this is what it looks like when it's closed. The slide out. It's actually partially open right now. When it's fully closed, you can't get through. Can I leave the light on? No, there's just that much. Okay, there isn't there. Okay. I don't love that. That's going. This belonged to the previous owner. I need to clean in here, obviously. Gross. Gross. From the prior owners. Ew. And also, hello me. Okay. That's an RV bathroom. Our model has awesome storage. Oh, there's a stink bug in here already. It's because we're leaving the door open. We gotta capture him. Great storage. This is called the bunkhouse. There are three beds. Two smaller size. They are smaller than twins. And then one bigger bed that's smaller than a double. Uh oh. Are your hands killing you? Or no. are the goo gone? No, they're nasty. <laughs> and the goo gone? <laughs> yeah. Andy's trying to scrape a sticker off the back that we don't want on there. Yeah, but they left their old United States map on here. It's years old, years dry. I can't get rid of it. And uh, we just got back from our first weekend trip. It's pretty awesome. Our shakedown. Shakedown. Our, our, our shakedown. Voyage. Our shakedown yeah. trip where we figure out what we're missing and what's broken. Sea trials. That's what you call a shakedown in Navy on a ship? Yeah. After, that's what it's called? Then we go out there and make sure figure out what's wrong with it. In the bunkhouse, we're just going to store all the kids' stuff here. Their clothes, they have books, toys, games, that kind of thing. And then we're going to store extra sheets and blankets back here as well. And what we've started to do is put in safety gates, mattress protectors. And then I put in some games and coloring books for the road. And then here's another cabinet outside of the bathroom. And what I've stocked it with are our microfiber towels that I already had, um, some Legos we're gonna leave in here, a new shower curtain to replace. Andy, for our anniversary we just had, bought me tin wind chimes. So those are gonna be our RV wind chimes, towels for the dogs, our hiking backpack. And then this is what I use for laundry on the road. It's a collapsible bucket. And then I just use Laundry soap, my drops, I just cut a drops open with water to wash anything that I need on the road. Otherwise, I just save all the laundry in the laundry basket till we get home. And then it has a, this is called a U-shaped dinette. Here it is from a better angle, U-shaped dinette. Fits us all, <laughs> even though we eat outside while we're camping the whole time. But on rainy days, we're in here. Um, this table has the double leg, which is nice. and comes out. We could take it outside if we wanted. And since the fridge is off, I need this to stay open. Getting things ready, I just clean the freezer and the fridge. And there's a little stuff. I did not look inside here, I'm afraid. Oh, it's not too bad. I'll be able to handle that. Microwave, we cleaned the microwave already. So that looks way better. And then it's got some limited kitchen storage, but I already um, just went to Target and got some pots and pans to leave here so we don't have to bring ours every time. And then a couple of drawers for storage. I went to the dollar store and just got like a can opener and tongs, cutting board. Oh yeah, the seeds come in. <laughs> corn holders. And then just like a couple of things from the dollar store to have on the road. The U-shaped dinette actually folds into a bed and the sofa folds out into a bed. So it can sleep two kids here and two kids here. You could do, or one grown up each and then two in the top bunk, one in one. So technically it sleeps two, four, six, eight, and then our bed in the front, 10. This is the master, I guess it's called. And here's the cabinets. Lot, very spacious. I need to get in here and wipe that down. Um, 
but I gotta figure out some organization for in there. I don't know why it doesn't have doors here because it goes all the way across, which is silly because stuff will fall out when it's traveling. I don't like that, but it is what it is. And then we have a TV in our master bedroom. This is a queen. And there's also a TV in the living area, living room area ish. <laughs> goes out nice and wide. So look at all the space it just created. Really nice. What did you do to make that noise? I just pressed it out. I'm and just kidding. That's what it does when I can see it. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. There's so much room for activities. And then outside storage that goes all the way across to the other side. This part was a big selling point for me. It's an outside kitchen. Fridge, which came in really handy on our first test run. And then Andy's got some fire grill stuff here. I don't know what that is. Microwave out here, cabinets. And then this folds out into a stove. This is access to the bunk beds and then extra storage underneath. Oh, there's my rain kit. That needs to come with me. We've wanted to buy an RV for a while. We did a couple of test runs by renting them and fell in love with it. Knew we wanted to own it ourselves. So we got a used trailer. <laughs> so tell us about the RV, Andy. Oh, well, this is great. It's a 2015. I thought uh, it was 2016. Sorry, you're right. It's 2016 Flagstaff by Forest River. A super light, 29 FBSS, uh, 29 feet long, 33 with the tongue. The plan is to quickly pay off the loan yeah like like as soon as it's titled yeah as soon as it's titled <laughs> we're moving the cash over yeah. we did a loan for those of you following the debt story we did a loan because the person we bought it from was army and we bank the same bank usaa and the bank handled the transaction for us and the transfer of title yeah. transfer of money all that good stuff it was a little trickier because the seller still had a lien on it uh it was it I mean, it's six or one half dozen, but it felt easier to us to actually take out a loan on it to do this. That way, everything stayed in-house with our bank for the title transfer and everything. It felt more and, uh, secure than yeah. writing a check mm -hmm. for the amount mm -hmm. than be stuck with a lien against it. We wanted the bank to provide documentation that the lien had been paid off. So we mm -hmm. own it outright. Um, we purchased it for 22000 and uh, that's about 3000 under um, value. What is it called? NADA guides? Yeah, the NATO. The NATO, NATO guides. NATO, we bought NATO, it for about 3000 under what it's valued. Um, so the idea is once we've um, registered, inspected, and titled it in Maryland, we're going to pay off the loan. I did some research, though, that paying off installment loans doesn't actually help your credit. Paying them off early doesn't actually help your credit. In True. fact, it can dip it down for a couple of months. Uh, it's paying off early at all doesn't. Yeah really affect your improve your credit score what it does improve is the money out of your pocket because you're not paying that interest right so what right and we have the cash for it so mm -hmm. the idea is to continue on the debt-free journey by paying cash to the entire balance of the loan in a couple of months yeah these bars and that part right there this is the spray control bar all right yeah this is the uh stinger controller with the stinger right down there these are your safety chains with your breakaway brake line on there, your tow connector, electric connector. So I guess we should talk about that we also purchased a truck. <laughs> we did. Andy's wanted a truck for many years. Many years. Last truck I had was a Dodge Dakota. It was a fine little truck, but it was a little truck, two-seater, and I got rid of that in 2006. I've been wanting a full-size truck forever. Since then, huh? And not only did I get a full-size truck, I got a Super Duty. Yay! So it's awesome. Making dreams come true here. Yeah. The Lucas household, mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. our dreams of our forties come true. Take the kids on RV trips. Actually, put money down on this, put 20% down on this, and then we'll fast pay it off. Cause the only debt we have now is this truck and this RV. And we're gonna pay this off in a couple of months. So we'll just have this car payment for like four years and then 
That's it. We'll fast pay it off though. We'll pay it off faster than four years because it's our only debt. So we're done. We cleaned it out. It's good for the next trip, which next weekend, I don't know. We want to take it out a lot this summer. Andy's going to go take this to storage. We